everyone. Welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about visualizing and describing solid figures. Associate the following objects with the given solid figures. These are the proper association of the name of the object and the solid shape that corresponds to it. A Rubik's Cube is corresponds to this figure. A ball is corresponds to this figure. The Great Pyramid of Giza is corresponds to this figure. A showbox is corresponds to this figure. A tin can is corresponds to this figure. An ice cream cone is corresponds to this figure. These are the solid figures from our previous activity. This is a cube. This is a rectangular prism. This is a pyramid. This is a sphere. This is a cylinder. And lastly, this is a cone. Figures like the one represented in the activity earlier are called solid figures. Solid figures are three-dimensional figures. A three-dimensional object has length, width, and height. Moreover, they may have faces, edges, and vertices. A face is the flat surface of a solid figure. This is the face. Let's count the number of faces of some solid figures. A cube has six faces. A rectangular prism has six faces too. A pyramid has five faces. A sphere is zero. A cylinder has two faces. And a cone has one face. An edge is formed when two faces meet. An edge is a straight line segment. This is the edge. Let's count the edges of each solid figures. A cube has 12 edges. A rectangular prism has 12 edges too. A pyramid has eight edges. A sphere is zero. A cylinder is zero. And a cone is zero. A vertex is a point where edges meet. This is the vertex. Let's count the number of vertices of each solid figures. A cube has eight vertices. A rectangular prism has eight vertices also. A pyramid has five vertices. A sphere is zero. A cylinder is zero. And a cone has one vertex. Solid figures are either polyhedron or non-polyhedron. A solid is a polyhedron if all its faces are polygons. Otherwise, it is a non-polyhedron. A polyhedron may be a prism or a pyramid. What is a prism? A prism is made up of two parallel and congruent bases, which can be any polygon. The other faces are parallelograms. It is named after the shape of its base. If its base is a triangle, it is called triangular prism. If it is a pentagon, it is called a pentagonal prism. What is a pyramid? A pyramid has only one base, which can also be any polygon. The other faces are triangles which meet at a common vertex. 
A pyramid is also named after the shape of its base. If the base is a square, we call it square pyramid. If the base is a triangle, we call it triangular pyramid. If the base is a hexagon, we call it hexagonal pyramid. Here are some examples of polyhedron. We have rectangular prism, triangular prism, and pentagonal prism. We have also pentagonal pyramid, rectangular pyramid, and hexagonal pyramid. Examples of nine polyhedron. Number one, a cylinder. What is a cylinder? A cylinder is a solid with congruent parallel circular bases connected by a curved surface. Next is a cone. What is a cone? A cone is a solid with a circular base connected by a curved surface to a single vertex. Lastly is a sphere. What is a sphere? A sphere is a set of points spaced that are the same distance from a given point. A sphere has no faces, edges, or vertices. I hope that you understand our lesson for today and thank you for watching.